This video will show you how to make a dissolving object animation in Blender, please watch it to the very end. When you open Blender, first press delete to delete the default cube. Press shift to then go to mesh and add a UV sphere. Press shift A again then go to mesh and add a plane. Press S then 1.2 to scale it up by 1.2. Click on this X to go to a side view then activate this auto keying button. Press R and rotate it a bit then press G and move it up to somewhere here. Now go to frame 200 then press G and move it up to somewhere here. Now if you play it, you can see it moving across the sphere. So select this UV sphere then go to the particle properties then click on this plus icon to add a particle system to it. Now if you play it, you can see it emitting particles normally but we want them emitted according to the movement of the plane. To achieve this, press tab to go to the edit mode. Make sure all vertices are selected then come to the object data properties and click on this plus icon to add a vertex group. Click on assign to assign them to this vertex group. Now press tab to go back to the object mode. Come back to the particle properties then scroll down to vertex groups and click on this drop down arrow to expand on it. Click here under density then select this group. Now come to the modifier properties then click on add modifier then go to edit and add a vertex weight proximity modifier. Click here under vertex group and select this group. Click on this eyedropper under target object and select this plane. Now come up here and switch to the weight paint mode. If you play it now, you can see the weight colors just changing abruptly. To fix that, come to the vertex weight proximity modifier then click here and change the proximity mode to geometry. But as you can see, the weights are distributed based on the closeness of vertices to the object. So change the geometry from vertex to face. Reduce this lower value to about 0.1 then click here and move this modifier above the particle system modifier. Now if you play it you can see that nothing has changed yet. So come to the particle properties then scroll down to vertex group and click on this icon to invert it. Now if you play it, you can see it emitting particles but they are coming from a single point. To fix that, scroll up and click on this drop-down arrow on source then click on this box to activate use modifier stack. Now if you play it you can see that the particles are evenly distributed. So go back to the modifier properties then click on add modifier then go to generate and add a subdivision surface modifier. Click on it here and hold then move it above the vertex weight proximity modifier. Increase these viewport levels to 2. Now if you play it, you can see the simulation coming out well. So come up here and switch back to the object mode. Press shift to then go to mesh and add an icosphere. Click on this X to go to a side view then press S then 0.5 to scale it down by 0.5. Now press G and move it up to somewhere here. Select this UV sphere then come back to the particle properties then scroll down to physics and click on this drop down arrow to expand on it. Click here to change this physics type from Newtonian to Boyd's. Scroll down and click on this drop down arrow on Boyd brain to expand on it. Now if you play it you can see that it is respecting these two operations but this is not what we need. So come and click on this minus icon twice to remove both of these operations. Click on this plus icon then select follow leader. Scroll down here then click on this eyedropper on object and select this icosphere. Now if you play it you can see that they are all heading towards the icosphere. So come and click on this button to deactivate auto keying. Press shift to then go to mesh and add another icosphere. Press G then Y and move it up to somewhere here. Click on this X to go to a side view then press S to scale it down up to this level. Now select this UV sphere and come back to the particle settings then scroll down to render then click on this drop down arrow to expand on it. Click here under render as in change it from halo to object. Click on this eyedropper under instance object then select the second icosphere. Now if you play it you can see the particles coming from one single spot again. To fix that, click here and switch back to the weight paint mode. Now if you play it, you can see that things are okay. 
So come here under render scale and increase them to a size of your liking. Scroll up to a mission and increase this number to about 50,000. Now scroll down to cache and click on bake to bake the simulation. Now if you play it, you can see it coming out perfectly. You can now switch it back to the object mode. And now we're done with the first part of the tutorial. So check out this next part of the tutorial for the shading part.